Connection. My name is Damien. We're at the water today and I'm going to be showing you this beautiful 2006 Sea to Ilandia. And it's powered by a pair of 155 horsepower Rotax motors now. That would be a total of 310. What you're going to see on this uh, Sea to Ilandia, what they've done with it is uh, they've definitely they kept the sportiness of a jet boat, but they've also done a fantastic layout for uh, to take out uh, multiple people on the boat, family, friends, etc. Um, starting at the transom of the boat, we have a large swim platform back here. Nice area for you to hang out and whatnot. And uh, over up to the uh, off to the right there, to the starboard side, we do have a recessed boarding ladder with a hatch cover over it. And all the way to the right, you have a courtesy light, and you also have the freshwater transom shower. At the center of the transom, we have a nice ski pole. Okay, if you like doing some wakeboarding, uh, pulling a tube, etc., you can. That is removable, by the way. All right, and then you have access to your engine compartment underneath this large sun pad that we have back. There. This sun pad in particular, if I were to pull these up, okay, these become backrests. So you will have a nice transom seat with their backrest at the back of the boat. Nice little entry door uh, as far as coming in and out of the boat. And then if you just want to leave it open at all times, you can. And just lock it over and now she is open. Storage compartment off to your left hand side. We have our storage for the uh, transom, uh, for the stern light I should say. Okay. Little grab rail, a couple of stern cleats. Okay. Boat is equipped with the stereo system. You'll see two speakers at the aft of the boat. Plenty of courtesy lights throughout. And then battery switch. Boat is, uh, does have dual batteries and switch, and battery switches over here out to the right. You'll see that in the pictures. Bimini top, nice and large bimini top. Very good condition. The canvas is in good shape. The stainless is in nice condition as well. Okay. And off to the left on the board side, we have a nice either two-person seat, or if you want to lay out and uh, stretch your feet, you can. Cup holders throughout, little storage compartment underneath, okay, of that uh, port seat. And then we also have the snap-in carpet throughout the boat. At the dash, we have our display of gauges, digital depth sounder, our throttles, and then our rocker switches for our 12 volt accessory systems. And then you also have the stereo here just to the left of the house. Notice that you have a large uh, captain's chair. Two people could fit there if you wanted to. Okay? It does spin around and you can adjust it forwards and backwards. Off to the left hand side, I have a nice little uh, wet bar with a sink, nice drawer, and then plenty of storage underneath. Okay, with the trash bin, and you'll see that in the pictures as well. Coming up towards the bow, you'll see that there is a uh, nice seating area up here with a center table, okay, a little wraparound seating. Once again, you can lay out, you have your backrest on either side, two more speakers all the way forward, okay. Notice that throughout the boat, there's plenty of grab handles for, for a little added security. All the way up front, we have a couple steps leading up to the bow of the boat. If you're at a sandbar or you're beaching it or whatever, you do have a forward boarding ladder on here as well, okay? We have a forward freshwater wash down underneath the steps, okay? And at midship, one of the key features on the sea do is that if I open this up, we have a nice changing area with the porta potty. Right now, we also have the full boat cover for the boat that's stored underneath, but we do have a porta potty below. This itself closes, okay? If you want to change, if you want to uh, use the porta potty, you can. So that's a very nice feature to have. Not too many, you're not going to find that on too many uh, different jet boats. Uh, condition of the boat, you'll see that the upholstery is in excellent shape all the way around the boat. Uh, gel coat's in good condition, a couple little scratches here and there. It is a used boat, but overall, it's in very good condition. Let's go ahead and fire the motors up and take it out for a quick spin.
That concludes the video presentation on the 2006 Sea Do Islandia. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, it's a very sporty boat, but at the same time, you're going to be able to take out family and friends. Once again, the boat's in very good condition. If you have any questions, feel free to write me an email or call me. From West Palm Beach, Florida, Marine Connection, my name is Damien. God bless and have a wonderful day.